here's a video about composite rods. There's actually two places where this past year appears. One in February, March 20, and again in May, June 14, a very old one. So you see, they like to ask this. Almost exa it's exactly the same question. So if, you, if it comes out again, be ready. A composite rod here, there's two types. Plastic, nylon, stuck together. The rods have the same cross-section area, and each rod has one meter in length. When you see one meter, this is the original length shown to you before it's stretched. The Young Modulus is 40 GPA, uh, EN is 2 gigapascals. The composite rod will break, now this is a very important clue, when the total extension of the whole thing reaches 3 mm. What is the total extension? You know, the plastic is going to expand a bit. Nylon is also going to expand a bit but at different rates because, you know, which one is softer, it will stretch out more. So. The plastic is going to have some extension, nylon is going to have extension, but the total thing will break if you reach 3. What is the greatest tensile stress? Stress is this one. We use this symbol, sigma, which is usually force per unit area. Tensile means you are pulling it apart. So here got a tension, here will be the same tension, pulling the whole rod apart. What is the maximum tensile stress? How do we start? Tensile stress. Stress, okay, I'm going to write here. Stress is force per unit area. That's what we know. But how do you involve things like Young's modulus into the picture? You need to know Young's modulus is stress over strain. Therefore, on the right side, I can say, okay, so maybe stress is Young modulus times strain. Maybe I, I don't have force, I don't have per unit area. I don't know which one to use. So let's try this. Stress equals to Young modulus times what is strain? Extension over original length. Let's use that to help us get started. And this is like, yeah, just playing around with equations. So the key thing is maximum extension reach this. That will be the limit where you have greatest tensile stress. So extension will be, like I say, plastic will extend a little bit. Nylon will also extend a little bit. But... How do you relate Young's modulus into it? Ah, that's what we think about ratios. So, XP, what will that be based on this thing that we came up with? Well, you got to rearrange a little bit. XP will be sigma L over E. So, let's write a note here. X will be sigma L over E. So, we plug in for plastic. That will be the stress over L. What is L? Original length for that component. Ah, just one. Okay, sure. So don't do it. Don't do the right L. E for plastic is 40 gigapascals. Then we do the same thing for nylon as well. So nylon here will be sigma over 2 times 10 to the 9. And this equals to 3 millimeters. That's the maximum it can go. Now we're wondering, is the stress for plastic same as the stress for nylon? Yes, it is the same because they are part of the same rod. And also, if you look here, stress already takes into account the different materials here because Young modulus depends on the material. So yeah, different material will stretch differently and it's already considered for. So yes, sigma is the same for both here. Mm, okay. When you think about in terms of Young modulus. Okay, so now let's just simplify, do some maths. I'll just simplify this a little bit so you can see what the next step is. It might look a bit hard to calculate, but don't worry. You can factorize out sigma and leave all the numbers in there. Ta-da! Which means you can find what sigma is. And sigma will get you about 5.7 times 10 to the 6 pascals. I think I calculated it just now. I think it's somewhere there. So let's do a quick double check. It's a lot of fractions. If you want to do this in multiple steps, you can do this in multiple steps. But if not... That's fine. You can do it all one shot in your calculator if you know how to do it. So 5.7 times 10 to the 6 is the answer for the greatest tensile stress for the composite rod before it breaks. Okay, so that's this MCQ question. See you in the next one.